similar to the handling of a crisis is dealing with negative issues that might flare up in or around your project. Let's say one of your team attends an event. During the coffee breaks, a lot of networking takes place, which is important for your communications. You want everyone of your team to engage, and they do it. They talk to people from civil society organizations, government officials, maybe even journalists, you name it. And then a controversial issue concerning the implementation of your project comes up. Now, the common guideline within development organizations in cases like this is to declare that you cannot comment. Maybe you mentioned that you're not authorized to talk to journalists or in general on behalf of the project, something like this. Now, while this is a correct response, it looks defensive and non-transparent, especially for a development project that is paid for by taxpayers. So there are better responses, especially when the person you're speaking to is not a journalist, but maybe someone from your stakeholder partnership. So this is a great opportunity to set some facts straight with them. On the other hand, your team member might say something that's not quite according to the official line. The point is that only allowing few individuals to speak about the project is not feasible. We live in a time where not only the directors attend social functions, and it would also be a waste of a lot of great opportunities to get your messages out, given the huge number of events taking place in development cooperation. So what is a better way of dealing with this? Here's a suggestion, which might not work for every instance, but generally it's a feasible approach. Have a team meeting to brainstorm about what the problems are the project is faced with. The typical downsides, the typical allegations, and by which groups. And then list the issues and cluster them. Then come up with a agreed upon way to comment on the various issues and put it into a catalog, a written catalog for your internal use. Maybe draw a line where you would not comment on and where you would decline and going into further detail. Then discuss some smarter ways to get out of the issues without having to say, I cannot comment on this. Refer to someone who can, note who that would be, and in general discuss how you can demonstrate that you want to be constructive about the issue, the type of allegation, this sort of thing. So you compile a catalog of these expectable issues and the rec recommended responses and make it available to the entire team. Then also make sure that you have periodic meetings to update the catalog, because the new issues are the most burn, burning ones and are often the likeliest to come up in conversations, obviously. And then discuss whether the responses to issues already in the catalog are still up to scratch. Now, you might want to get a communications advisor to help you with setting this whole thing up. 